pre-agility week three. So this is building on the shaping exercise that I gave you for homework last week. You were shaping your dog to put their four paws in a box. Uh, after you'd done that, you moved on to shaping your dog to put two front paws on the, um, on the stool. The word I use for Lila is target, which she knows, put your paws onto the, the target. Now the idea of this is that we want to get the dog learning how to independently move their back end. Dogs have four legs, but they don't, unless you do a lot of body awareness exercises, they don't realize that they have back legs. And this is where a lot of mistakes are made. Dogs will catch the bars as they go over in their legs. Uh, they'll have problems with weaving. They'll have problems on the very narrow dog walk, which they have to do at really high speeds. So, a very essential um, exercise. People do also do it in um, obedience classes because they want their dog in a better straight line to be able to do a uh, straight line at their side to be able to do that. Their dog has to know how to use all four legs. So, we'll fast forward, we'll pretend that you've done your homework, you've got your dog to the stage where they have two front paws on the on the stool and what i'm going to do is i'm going to move towards lila's back end i'm going to put a little bit of pressure towards her back feet and i want her to just shuffle her back legs round. she knows this exercise so she'll probably do a lot bigger step than what your dog will at this stage but as soon as she does I'm going to either click and treat or I'm going to say yes and I'm going to give her a treat. So it should go something like this, front paws on, so I'm going to go towards the back end, yes, Did you see her move her, her back legs, I'm going to do it again, yes, so those front paws never come off the stall, yes. Now remember, this, you use both sides in agility, so I do need to get her moving the other way. You'll find you, uh, your dogs have a stronger side, just like uh, Lila does. <laughs> Good. So this front paws are up, put the back in. She's moving independently. So like I said, you all will do very small steps up front at, at, at first, but um, you can just build it up, build their confidence. And then next week, we'll be adding uh, a few more exercises to get your dogs moving their um, uh, legs independently of each other. But this is the, the work for pre-agility week three that we need to get done first. Okay? Good.